and welcome back to my scrap room. My name is Jennifer Perry and I'm an independent consultant for Close to My Heart. And today we are going to work on layout two of the Cats and Bats paper. It is from the Holiday Expressions catalog, September through December 2017. And it is this paper right here. And for today's layout we are actually going to be using one of the workshop um, instruction guides. So it is going to be um, this one right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to download the instructions off my website myscraproom.net. From there you go to online shopping. From Once you're there you click the I want to say it says kits. I think it says kits. And then you go to cats and bats and, and you'll find it in there. Um, but that is what we're going to be working with today. So let me close this up. Let me show you what comes with your workshop kit. The number for the workshop kit that, oh, sorry for my squeaky chair. The workshop number is going to be Workshop Your Way, G is in George, 1136. And what you're going to receive is. Oh, I really have a squeaky chair. Pardon me, guys. Is the full pack of paper. And this is a little bit more paper because I buy the workshop and then I buy a separate paper pack to give me enough to do all of my classes. So this is a little bit more paper than what you're going to be receiving. But you receive a full pack of paper, a full pack of the Cats and Bats enamel dots, which you're going to be using those, a full pack of the Shimmer Trim, the black and a full pack of the compliments. I am working on the other side of my room today. That's why you're hearing the chair squeak. We have, I've been trying to film these um, workshops for over a week, but between the solar eclipse and the remnants of Harvey, we're in North Texas, so I'm in the Dallas area, so we're, we're getting nothing but rain which means I have no sunshine. I have had no sunshine for almost a week, so it's been very, very hard to film. And I just kind of went, okay, I'm not going to be able to film. We're going to deal with just what we deal with. So I apologize for any shadowing. This side of the screen is going to be a little bit darker than this side of the screen because my lighting is off. But let's just work with what we've got. So for page one, we're going to start with is Then we've got a little zip strip that is stars, which I think is one of the cutest things I've ever seen. So I cut that zip strip off, and there we go there. Okie dokie. So this is why I have to think for a second. I have a new tool that I've been playing with that I ordered off of Amazon. It's called the Marvy Jewel Picker. And one side is smaller. The other side is a little bit bigger. It's actually made for jewelry making, but the tips are sticky. And it's made for picking things up and putting, you know, putting the placement down precisely. So you'll see me playing with this. The other item you're going to see me playing with quite a bit is it's the fine line bottle. It has my liquid clasp in it, but it's a needle tip. So I have a little bit more precision until I try to put the needle back in. There we go. So, today we are going to put this down here. Put this right here. Mm -hmm. They want me to do a, a straight line. They are laughing their behinds off, aren't they? That's going to be funnier than crap. Alright, you want to see me try and do a straight line? Alright. The first thing I'm going to do is get my fine line. One thing I love about this fine line, it's going to be hard for you to see 
but it does just a tiny bit of adhesive. Right down the middle. So it's a more precise application. And I don't feel like I waste as much liquid glass as I used to just trying to get things placed properly. Or um, I don't have as much leakage over the side. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm going to put you right about there. Please be straight. Please be straight. Please be straight. Okay. Okay, here comes the funny part, guys. I'm going to flip the paper upside down. Look at this. They want me to spell beware, but they didn't even put it in the right spots. They want me to spell it correctly. Well, I may have to do it this way. If I need to spell it correctly. Alright, let's try. So, B... Oh, look, they did spell it correctly. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. No, they didn't. I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to turn it upside down. So I'm just lining up the points and praying. I like the idea of the banner. Let's see if I can get it to come out right. Ow. I poked myself with the banner. I don't even know if this is coming out straight. We're going to just pray, guys. Oh, kind of, sort of. All right. So these are my photo placement cards that I make. Sorry, I dropped something. So this photo is just supposed to be a single 4 by 6 It's not supposed to have any matting at all. So that is there. And then it's 3 by 4 And 3 by 3 And those go on the other side. And then trick or treat. Just doing a dry run to see how everything's going to fit. Just checking my instructions real fast before I do anything else. Because it always sucks just a little bit to put something down when you think you know what you're doing and then find out you did it wrong. So this is some of the shimmer trim and I just did some dovetails in it. And I'm just going to put this on the bottom. Like so. This is one of the little heart stickers. Oh, right there. I was like, where did it go? I don't see it. This is a little celebrate sticker. I think besides the little dots, and I'm going to wait and do the little dots when we do both pages. Yep. So second page. as before. I'm 
And what you're looking for is you want, whenever you're done with both pages, these two sides need to butt up together, like so. So that's what you're looking for. This is just a little journaling sticker. And we're just stacking the stickers. Sit there for a second. This is another one of their shimmer trims that's dovetailed. I think I'm going to do this one backwards. Hold on. I'm going to do it backwards from the way that they say. Yeah, I like that. Okay. This is just that paper that we used um, in the first layout with the tiny words. This is just some tiny words that were trimmed out from the regular full size 12, 12 by 12 paper. I had a little scrap piece and I went, hey, let's trim this. Here. Okay, so let me show you the beauty of this jewel picker. So, and I'm right handed, so you're going to see me flipping back and forth. So, you pick it up, yeah, put down some adhesive, and you plop it back down and hold it down for a second. And if you happen to have long nails, this comes in really, really handy. Or false nails. I used to have a horrible time when I had my acrylic nails. Oh, hello. Put down there. Thinking I'm finished. I'm not finished. I was getting all excited and moving on to embellishments. Now time to move on to embellishments. Now it's time to move on to embellishments. So scoot you over, scoot you over, and where does this one go? Oh, they say right there, okay. Like that. So, pick it up. Do a wee bit of squish down. There we go, okay. So, now I can close this up. I have a little bit of a hard time getting the screw cap back on, but it's worth it. So now they would like some enamel dots on this layout here. So whenever I do my enamel dots, I use my exacto exacto knife. Please, please, please be careful when you're using your exacto knife um, because you can cut yourself and not realize it. And that would be bad. So I'm going to use a couple of big ones on the corners of the banner. And then it wants a couple of little ones right there.
I'm going to put one right over here. And then we're going to put a couple over here. anything. Okay. There it is. So here is Cats and Bats layout number two, side one and side two. Stay tuned for layout number three. Until next time, bye-bye.